They rocket off the starting line. A red light start for Tonglet. And all the way to the finish line, it is Gage Herrera, 668 for a 202.73 miles an hour. I don't think anyone was surprised to see Gage Herrera hoist the Wally here this weekend. Killer reaction times. You've got a bike that is performing, but you guys almost look beatable in qualifying. What did you find that put you guys over the edge in that last qualifying session? I mean, mainly with, you know, Andrew, my crew chief, all the guys at Van Science, they just need to figure out the new fuel change and uh, took a few laps, but uh, we're right back to where we were. So that really didn't affect us. But, you know, us as a whole team, that was three Van Science bikes in the final against uh, John Hall. and. Uh, you know, us as a whole team, we really showed out this weekend, and I'm proud to be a part of Vance Hines and this uh, Revzilla Motul uh, Gen 3 Suzuki Hayabusa was on rails all day today. I mean, it was basically a bracket bike from a 69 to a 68, and uh, uh, this, this, that final was very nerve-wracking, and uh, I'm just glad to uh, prove all the keyboard warriors wrong, you know, about as far as me cutting lights, and uh, we got three fast motorcycles. Congratulations. Thank you very much. They leave in uneven fashion. Stanfield and Glenn match at 011. The four cars with a hammer down, and it will be the HendrickCars.com Chevrolet of Greg Anderson. 6.502 seconds. A masterful performance with an 034 reaction time. It is win number 105. So Greg Anderson brings home the Wally at his hometown race, the home of HendrickCars.com, and Greg, it was a performance on both sides, but you're driving as well as the performance of this vehicle. What made it all kind of come together this weekend? You know, I think it's just the good vibes when I come out here, Bruno. It's uh, I love this racetrack. I love everything about it. I love it when our supporters, Hendrick Cars, all the guys, all the, all the employees, all the people that are so important to me that, that uh, we couldn't do this program without, they all come out to support us, and that means so much to me. I've told you guys before, I need uh, sometimes a little, need a little something to jumpstart that heart. That does it for me. Anytime I get a challenge like that, also got a small challenge from Mr. H this morning, and guess what? It got the job done. So thank you, buddy. Pay up. <laughs> Congratulations, Greg. Thank you. They're clean. Antron smokes the tires and across the stripe. The win will be for Justin Ashley. 371-0, a 46 light. 372-2 and a 372-5 for Milliken and Coletta. Not good enough. For the second time in 2024, Justin Ashley is going to be bringing home the Wally. They say consistency is what it's all about, but consistency in terms of a race car as well as a driver, another 40 light for you. What is it going to take to kind of derail this freight train you've got going right now? Well, I think the only thing that could really derail it is ourselves if we get out of focus, right? I mean, it's not about focusing on the competition. You want to know where you are at relative to everyone else, but our focus is being the very best version of ourselves that we could be. And as long as we keep that internal focus, I think we'll have a lot of success. So Mike Green, Tommy Lago, Dustin Davis, the whole Skag Power Equipment, Toyota Phillips team works so hard day in and day out. So I'm the one who gets to hold this Wally. It says Z-Max on it. It should say Skag Power Equipment and everybody in our team's name on it. Uh, just so proud to represent Skag Power Equipment, all of Skag Nation, all the wonderful dealers, users, owners out there. Uh, oh man, these things are tough to win. I get emotional sometimes. So uh, just, just couldn't be more proud, couldn't be more grateful for the opportunity. Congratulations. Thanks, Bruno. Deep stage the car. They lead the starting line. Wilkerson's looking pretty good here, but Hagen's going to run around him at the finish line. 394 6 on a whole shot. Outruns Wilkerson's 392 3. That is very, very excellent. 397 8 as JR Todd and John Force are sitting on the sideline. With victory here in behind the wheel of a funny car. Matt, it was a 020 something light. We're going to call it a whole shot. Don't know if you parked stage with a front tire or the back tire. At the end of the day, though, you're going to get that Wally from Ned Wallace here. Congratulations on what can be a, a home track victory for you here today. Well, it's really special. I mean, 50 wins for me is, is huge. I've uh, seen a lot of people come, a lot of people go out here, and we're just glad to be out here. But my guys do a great job, and I wouldn't call it a whole shot win. In the finals, we all buried up like that. And, you know, it's just one of those things you kind of shorten up the racetrack a little bit. Maybe pulled an old John Force. I don't know. But uh, you can teach this young dog some tricks anyway. But uh, it's, I ain't young. I got white hair all over me. Um, at the end of the day, 
it's a Dodge deal. We got a Dodge on the car, win for Dodge. And uh, I'm just excited that my guys got one out of the way. You know, it's like last year we won three already and uh, we hadn't won yet. So getting that monkey off your back, man, like it just feels good, but proud of my guys. Woo! Good job. Let's go, baby.